Let's see what it was like for Crestline students as they came together under the same roof for the first time in seven months after fire destroyed their school back in February. With lots of hugs and smiles, the first day of school was a special reunion for the students and staff of Crestline Elementary. Everyone is really excited about this space and feels very grateful for what the district has done for us. Principal Bobby Heights has led Crestline through a turbulent year. When fire destroyed the school in February, the Evergreen District worked quickly to get the 500 students and 50 teachers back in the classroom just three days later, scattered among five different schools in the district. Work is already underway on a new Crestline school, but this year students will attend a temporary school in this former Hewlett Packard manufacturing facility on Southeast 34th Street. I couldn't be happier. It's a best case scenario. Um, our other option were portables and we would have been really, it would have been a difficult year. So this is, to me, is, is our school and we're making it work and um, parents and families and kids and teachers are in, in loving it. You know, the main thing is to keep the kids all together and so last year, you know, we, the district did a great job of uh, being able to get the kids back in school after the fire. But what we're all excited about this year is to get those kids all together again. Hi. Crestline is now occupying more than 68,000 square feet of the facility owned by SEH America. The district worked with LSW Architects and contractor Team Construction to convert the former manufacturing building into a beautiful new learning space for the kids. We spent a lot of time planning um, what these classrooms would look like, what kind of acoustical needs we had to have um, in order to um, have, a, you know, an environment that was conducive to learning. The great part about this is it's all covered by insurance. The student cost the taxpayer or the district any money. And, you know, and, and that's important because you, we need to send the message that this wasn't something that we had to take away from other kids to get this done. This was done because we had great insurance and the insurance company really stepped forward and did what they're supposed to do. Isn't it beautiful? The district held two open houses to give the community a chance to see the new facility. Some former HP employees even turned out to see their old workplace. Throughout the building, you can still spot signs of its manufacturing past. The open ceilings presented an acoustical challenge for the builders. Different thicknesses of wallboard were used to help keep the noise level down in the classrooms. Some hallways have been color-coded so students can find their way around the big building. We looked at pathways and how best to get kids around the building on what side of the hallway we're going to walk, um, how we're going to get from recess to playground, so we had to spend some planning around there to make sure that kids are traveling safely and around the building. There's going to be a lot of exploration around the building. I know we're going to take them around and and give them the whole deluxe tour um, and just trying to you know get the kids settled in and it didn't take long for students to get comfortable in their spacious new classrooms we'd have like two different teaching areas so we could do math in one section and reading in another and there's a lot of room for the kids to spread out um, as we silent read there's a lot of different options for the kids the music room is one of the only places in the building with an enclosed ceiling. It's also equipped with a new piano and other new instruments. A mallet is a stick with a soft ball on the end that you use to play a drum. The library has been stocked with all brand new books. Those and all the classroom furniture will be moved to the new Crestline School when it opens next year. This large space has been converted into the temporary school's new gym. Plenty of room for running, but there are some activities they can't do here. The lights are a little bit low and there's plumbing and everything that's about 12 feet above our head. So it's going to be a, a gym where we can't play basketball, but we can do everything else. Outside, part of the parking lot serves as a blacktop where students spend recess on rainy days. There's also brand new playground equipment for the kids. We have a beautiful new playground. Um, that was also something I got to shop for. And this particular company has the ability to um, move it to back to Crestline when we um, open next year. So that playground equipment will be coming back with us. Another reason the building was ideal for Crestline was the existing kitchen and cafeteria. 
where students eat breakfast and lunch every day. The cafeteria is fabulous. Um, we have a great space. We've got our cafeteria tables in there. We have a functioning ovens and dishwasher. And so my staff that I had at Crestline was able to come back. And so, yeah, we um, are running our lunches through there. It's a little bit different looking than a school, but it's beautiful. After just a few days, all of these kids have found something to like about their new school. The playground, the stuff, stuff to play with, and recess. It's bigger and it's way cooler. I feel like the whole school. But as the novelty of their new surroundings wear off, students are settling into a daily classroom routine, and the focus is back on learning. Teachers are, have this sense of urgency. We lost a lot of instructional time last spring, so um, they understand we have a lot of ground to make up. And it's temporary, but it's just going to be a great learning space. And the teachers are happy, the principal's happy. We couldn't work out any better, given the circumstances. The rebuilt Crestline Elementary will open in the fall of 2014. But in the meantime, these students and teachers have found a home away from home. The Crestline Lions have landed on their feet again and emerged stronger than ever. I, I just can't say enough for the community, parents, students for coming all together again. And I think it's going to be a really exciting year for Crestline. Yeah, we are Crestline and we're back together. And it's just you know, another miracle of, of just the cooperation that we have here at Evergreen. Resilient is a good word for both teachers and staff and parents and our students and how we made it through this experience and, and here we are back together and we'll have a new school. So I'm proud to be the principal and I'm proud of what our kids have accomplished. It's been an amazing experience. Uh, although difficult, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.